this is color and metal based sorting system and uh, let me explain the components so this is arduino uno and this will control the overall process and all the components of this project and system here you can see the 16 cross 2 lcd which is used for the purpose of uh, displaying the relevant information when required here you can see the push button and uh, this is used for the purpose to start the process of the system here you can see that uh, the four red boxes and these are when the system will detect the object uh, based on color and metal then it will drop the object in the relevant box uh, when required here you can see the gripper and it is controlled with the help of servo motor which is connected with it the servo motor model can be seen on the screen here another servo motor is installed and uh, its uh, model can also be seen on the screen and the purpose of this uh, servo motor is to rotate the gripper it is also called a robotic gripper or robotic claw as well. Here you can see the color sensor and is used for the purpose to detect the color of the objects. The model of this sensor, color sensor can be seen on the screen. Here you can see the metal sensor and the model can be seen on the screen. And the purpose of this metal sensor is to detect the object whether it is metal or not. So let's energize the circuit and check how it works. So I'm um, connected it, it with a power supply. And you can see the welcome note on the LCD as well. So you can see on the LCD it's saying that press the button. So now before pressing the button we should to place an object in front of the robotic claw or gripper or you can also say call it a hand. So let me place the object here. Now I have placed the object and according to the uh, disp screen display LCD display information I will push the button I will press the push button so let me press the button and check how it works initially first it will move the object to the metal sensor and will check and will check whether it is metal or not if this is metal it will drop in the metal box and if it will not be metal it will be un non metal so it will bring it back to the color sensor and will check uh, that which color is this uh. so then it will drop the object in the relevant uh, box and if unknown color detected so it will place the object back on the same position so let me press the button now you can see it's a blue color Sorry, it's a yellow color object and see how it works. Uh, so you can also see the information on the LCD as well. So let me press the button. It's picked the object and check whether it's metal or not metal. So you can see it non-metal and then again its uh, color was yellow and it drop it in the relevant box. So let check it again and see the process when i press the button it will bring it to the in front of a metal sensor and then in front of a color sensor so it's in front of metal sensor it's non-metal so in front of color sensor yellow and it will drop in a yellow box so let me check another object so here you can see that it's an object i have connected the metal with this object so let me place this and check the and check the result now I will press the button 
you can see here in front of metal and it's a metal it will drop it in the metal box you can see again let me check another box another object So now I have placed the green object in front of it and let's check the result. So I'm pressing the button. It's a non-metal and now it's a green so it will drop in a relevant box. Now I'm placing the blue object. Now let me press the button. it will drop it in a blue box let me place another green object and press the button it's a non-metal green I can check now the metal again so let me place the metal in front of it now let me press the button it's a metal and drop it in a metal box now let me place the yellow again press the button blue again press the button non metal blue check the blue again press the button check the green again the circuit diagram of this project and the code of this project is available in the description the download link is available in the description and you can download from there if you like the project please subscribe my channel also like and share the video you can also visit my channel for more projects related to Arduino and electrical electronics engineering thanks for watching